Today we're going to use another alternative to recover. Your device. We won't be using a PC either. This is a completely PC free method. If you've reset or formatted your phone and after it restarted correctly, it retained your Google account or security account. This video tutorial will explain step by step how to recover it easily and quickly. The first thing we'll do is connect to a Wi-Fi network to begin the recovery process. Also, so you can try several methods in the video description and the first pinned comment. We have other completely different methods both with and without a PC. You'll be able to recover these devices as well by following the video description and the first pinned comment where you'll find these other solutions. Appears. Screen lock. We previously formatted our phone because it was stuck with a screen lock. But the time our phone started up correctly led us directly to both the lock and the Google account. We were left with those two options. As we can see here we have this screen lock, which was the first thing we did to reset it in order to recover our phone. We reset it because our phone was left with this lock, and now. In addition, our phone no longer started up correctly. It's now here below where it says, use my Google account. We're going to click here where it says, use my Google account. We're going to click here so that those who know the email. Well, this is one of the easiest ways to recover our phone without having to watch the complete video tutorial. How would it be? We add our lock, our email. We click next. We write our password, and then it would give you access to your device. This would be one of the easiest and fastest ways. If, let's say, I don't remember that email. It also gives you an alternative. It asks for email or phone. If you know the phone number, you write the phone number. Click next. It gives you the option. With that, you'll receive a recovery code on your phone number. What are you going to do? Add that code you receive to the phone number. Add it here. But the SIM card shouldn't be inserted in this phone, which is completely locked because you wouldn't receive any code. Having said all that, so what we're going to do now is this. If you don't have the phone number or email, then I recommend you click here where it says, forget Gmail. Write anything here. And do the same down here. Click. Next, then, next. We'll do this for a minute and a half. When those minutes and a half have passed, We'll apply the recovery process. But why are we doing this? Well, doing this will help us enable a function that we won't use in this video tutorial, and it's the one that will allow us to access and recover our device. Another thing I want to mention at the end of the video is that when we fully recover our phone, there will be some errors left. What are those errors? Well, at the end of the video, I'll explain how you can correct all these errors so you can access your device without any problems. Okay, here we'll finish that minute and a half. Now that those minutes and a half have passed, what we're going to do next is how we're going to access our device. Since these devices, they're fully updated and give us the option to share anything. 
Well, for that, I'm going to explain what you're going to do. We're going to use a SIM card locked with a PIN code. But this time we're going to use another method. It already lets us access it through Google Maps, but I'm going to show you an alternative way to access your device. Let's wait for the screen to lock. Then we'll click here on Emergency Call. Here I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We re going to use a PC keyboard if you can't use a mouse. Now, what we're going to do is also use an OTG adapter, which gives us the port to connect the keyboard. We'll have this end work. Going to connect this end here. Now we're going to dial the emergency number according to your country. We click on it and then select enter. We'll do it quickly until we get access. As you can see, we already got access quickly. This is fast, as long as you follow step by step. They're going to be able to solve this problem. We'll explain what we're going to do now. I'm going to remove this keyboard. We'll remove the keyboard. Now we're going to remove the SIM card we inserted here. We'll remove this SIM card. We'll remove the SIM card. Now we're going to turn off the screen. We turn on the screen here, up and down. Now it should take us directly to the Google Maps option. Now what we're going to do is click here on this little circle. We're going to click here on settings. We're going to select this option where it says notifications. We click on notifications. We grant all the permissions that appear. We go back. We go back in and they're already enabled. We go back. We click here where it says location. We click on it. Well, in some cases, it might appear here. Okay, you click on it. We click here on accessibility settings. We enable this function. We go back. We click here where it says Google location settings. We're going to select this option that says all. Below, we click on show. System, and now we have Google Play services enabled. We're going to disable Google Play services. We'll deactivate them now. We're going to restart our phone. Once our phone has completely restarted, we'll finish the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can fix this account removal from your device. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways to access it. Once our phone has completely restarted, we'll be able to correct any remaining errors. At the end of the video, I'll explain what those errors are and how to fix them. Also want to mention that we have several methods. You can find these additional methods. I Let's click next here. Let's click next here. In some cases, the screen might go white. If that's the case, what you're going to do now is disable the Wi-Fi network. Let's disable it. Connect. We deactivate. We connect the Wi-Fi network. Now we wait for the Wi-Fi network to deactivate. But while it's deactivating, we're going to press the volume up button and the volume down button at the same time to activate it. We'll press here. To activate it, now we'll press the letter L. Back, we'll press here, press. 
Back. Now we'll deactivate it. We'll press. Forward. Now we'll press here on exit. And now this is where we need to get to. This point where this error appears, we only need this error that appears here. Let's see. We'll press forward again. What we're going to get here. We're going to remove the SIM card tray and reinsert the SIM card locked with the PIN code. We're going to reinsert the SIM card. We're going to insert it. Let's see if it lets us in again. So the Google Maps option is enabled. Let's see, let's see, we dial the emergency number. Let's see, we dial. We'll go back, we'll enter the lock. We'll check here to load the signal. We'll wait for the signal to load. We'll come back again. We'll remove it. We'll enter SINCAR. Emergency. We'll dial the emergency number and let's see, and this time it doesn't work. But we see that this process isn't working anymore. It's not working anymore. We'll check and we see that it doesn't work. That Google Maps isn't loading, so what you're going to do is remove SINCAR. You're just going to remove it. Remove it. We go back. We pull down notifications. We're going to select this calendar option. We're going to remove it completely. Remove the SIM card. It seems. I don't know why. Let's click here too. See, it seems to have an error. Well, it still has this error. Let's reinsert the SIM card. At the end of the video, I'll explain how to fix the error. This device has, because if it gets stuck and everything, then we insert the SIM card. Let's remove the SIM card again. Where is it? We remove it. Pull down notifications. Tap here on the date. In calendar, tap deny. Tap here on settings. You're going to tap the three dots. Tap here on share. Tap on Gmail. Tap skip. Enable Google services. They're enabled. We gently go back. Gently back. Back. Forward. Tap. Skip. Here we tap the little arrow. Now what we're going to do is disconnect the Wi-Fi network. We disconnect the Wi-Fi network. Now this skip option is enabled. We tap skip. We tap accept. We tap. Skip. We tap here. Next, we tap skip now. I'll be explaining how we're going to be able to correct the errors that remain on our phone so that we can choose the errors. I'll show you. You tap here the little arrow. Here all the functions will be enabled. Here it will give you access to your device. As we had indicated, how we correct the errors. On our phone, that is, the screen freezes, because that's what happens. When locking the screen it freezes completely. So to correct all this what we're going to do is go to settings. Once we're in settings, we'll go to about. Phone and select the reset option. 
we're going to reset the phone. When the phone is completely reset, you'll have a device free of errors. When you restart, you'll configure it normally again.